Okay, honestly, I took these out and now I can't <laughs> like I look so stupid. Oh my god, I should just <laughs> What did I do? Oh no. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today I'm here to talk about some series that I would like to finish. I have quite a few here. I'm gonna try and uh, not take forever to film this because the first time I filmed this it took forever to film and I regretted it almost immediately. So hopefully I can get through this video uh, pretty quickly and not, uh, you know, just take five minutes to explain every single premise of a book. And anyway, so yes, I don't know how many series I have here to talk about, but I have some, some series. I either don't own all the books, not all the books are out. Some of those series I own the books of and I wish I didn't buy them because I would not be finishing them if I own, didn't own them all. But alas, here we are. So without further ado, let's talk about all the series that I have on my shelves that I'd like to finish. That's not the title of the video, but honestly that fits pretty well because that's pretty much exactly what I'm doing. Alright, let's talk about one series that I actually forgot to put on my list, and that is the Kingdom of Exiles series, or I think this is the Exile series, by Maximum M. Martinu. I read this for my 24-hour readathon, like in March, I think is when it was, and I absolutely adored this book. Maybe it was in May. No, 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 it was in March. But I really, really ended up liking this book. I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, but I just, I really love the world. My favorite thing about this story is the animals because they're just so freaking cute. And I'm going to say it, every time I talk about this book, I talk about this one animal, but his name is Blaze. And he's like a wolf-like creature. And when Lena, who is the main character, summons Blaze, he flops along the beach with his ears flopping and his tongue out. And it was just the cutest thing I've ever read. Like, I was just smiling like a dumb little idiot because it was so, so cute. But... Basically, the next book in the series, I think, comes out this year, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But this first book is about a girl named Lena who has been exiled from her, like, town because she has been framed for charming humans, which is illegal because she can charm beasts. So she's been framed for charming humans. And then she has to sell her beast. I'm not very convincing when I tell you this because honestly, I don't really remember much of this. I remember how it ends, but I don't remember the main premise. Um, but she has to sell her beast that she's tamed for money, and she's trying to earn enough money up so that she can clear her name. But when she finds out that there have been dead assassins, literal people who are dead, who kill other people, have been hired to kill Lena, she makes a deal with the assassin named Nock to uh, charm four magical beasts, one for each of his close uh, work friends. Um, and uh, romance blossoms between Lena and Nock. Nock is hiding a secret. And it was just a really good book, and I really, really loved it. I loved all the characters, I loved all the animals, and it was just, I pretty much loved everything about this book, except I really can't tell you what it's about, apparently, but that's not surprising, because that's me. So, the next series I'm going to talk about is the Dorothy Must Die series by Danielle Page. This is a series that I own all the books for, and I actually read Dorothy Must Die back in 2016, and I ended up reading Wicked Will Rise in 2017, but I never got to the last two books in the series, and I really want to read them because I really want to see how the series ends. This is one series that I've been talking about finishing for absolutely ever, and I never got to it. First, it was kind of like a thing because it took me a year to read the sequel, and I was kind of like, oh, I'll just read one of the books every single year. And then 2018 came around, and I was like, yeah, no, yeah, no. So then I never ended up finishing them, and I could continue on to the Yellow Brick War because I do kind of, I do remember how the Wicked Will Rise will end, I think. But I want to reread the first two books before I dive into the last two because I want to experience, experience the world just fully. And I just want to dive back into this world that I love so much. And, um, yeah. 
So this is basically a Dorothy, no, a Wizard of Oz retelling. And this book here, uh, Amy gets swept up in a tornado. She's brought to Oz just like Dorothy was. And when she gets there, she finds out that after Dorothy went home, she came back and now Dorothy rules Oz and she is a very evil queen. So the next finish, no, hmm. The next series I'd like to finish is The Darkest Minds Trilogy by Alexandra Bracken. I own the dark editions. I like to call them the dark editions because the spines have dark written on them and so that's why I call them the dark editions. I never called them that until this video. But I own these and I've read the first two books back in 2018 when the first movie came out, which I own the movie and I actually really like the movie. But I ended up reading these two after the movie came out and after I had seen it. So I definitely don't want to reread these because I remember who dies in Never Fade and I remember what happens in Never Fade. And honestly, I think if I were to reread these now, I would not enjoy them as much because simply if I didn't own these two, I would literally not care about reading them. Uh, so this is the third book in the Afterlight and then this is the uh, collection of short stories or they're novellas. There's three novellas in here. And I would like to read these because I own them and for no other reasons except that. I own them so why, why, why not finish the series? But that's literally it. I don't even know how to explain the first book. There's a girl named Ruby. Ruby. I can only remember her last name. And she's got orange powers and parents in this world. Children in this world. Are parents dead in this world? She, oh, she cleared her parents' memories. That's what happened. Oh my god, I don't even remember. But that's, that. if you want a better description, either look up the movie synopsis, because it's pretty, I think the movie's pretty true to the book, or look up the Goodreads description. Honestly, you could do either. It's up to you, because it's your choice. I don't know why. The next series I would like to continue, I can't finish it because the uh, third book and is not out yet. I, don't even, I think it's going to be a fourth book and that's not out yet, definitely not. Uh, and that is the Phoenix Host series by, or the Roan, Roan Fire Saga by C.K. Miller. This is the first book which is the Phoenix Host and then the second book is the, the Leviathan Prince. I own both of these books and I plan on buying the third one whenever it comes out. It was supposed to come out in September, but because of COVID, she has to homeschool her kids, so she's pushed the uh, release date for the third book back till October is when she says, but she hasn't like confirmed it or anything. And I honestly, you can put it out in October, and I will that will push me to read this book. But if you don't put it out on, uh, you don't pick it out in October, that's okay too, because I'm scared to read the second book. So the first book is about a girl named Kia who works as a like a knight. You can see she's in armor for her kingdom, and she has these horrendous nightmares. She'll wake up in the middle of the night with her nose bleeding, and she thought that was the worst of it. But eventually, her eyes and her ears start to bleed as well and when she gets uh, assigned a job of escorting a noblewoman across the sea to the king's coordination uh, prince's coordination sorry uh, sh uh, she gets framed for the death of the king while she's there and so then she has to flee and uh, we find things out about that she's trying to solve the per she's trying to find out who framed her for for these assassinating the king it is just a wild ride and I feel like that's like the worst description of this book I've ever given but this book is just phenomenal I literally like I need to read I need to read the sequel of this book just so I can say like, yo, I know it's been six months since I read the first book and you're probably like, dude, it's about time you stop talking about it. But I read the sequel so now I can talk about the first one again. Um, but the reason I'm scared to read the sequel is because it has an arranged marriage type thing in it. At least that's what the description says. Um, and I'm scared because my ship... I don't want my ship to fall apart. My, I want my ship to sail nicely across the ocean, and I don't want it to sink. And the Rage Marriage kind of means that. But honestly, when I was reading this uh, description of the back this book, like on the back of it, I was amazed at how well the description of this book says without like spoiling the end of this book. Like I was like, whoa. So anyway, 
Um, yes, this is another series I would like to continue. And I'm going to continue the series because I love the first book so much. I have really, really high hopes for the second book and I'm just super excited for anything C.K. Miller writes, so. The next series I have is the Nevermore or the Morgan Crow series by Jessica Townsend. And so, this is the second book, by the way, Wondersmith. So, I saw where... Jessica Townsend got approved for nine books in this series, like seven more books in the series. So there's going to be a lot of books. Supposedly, there's supposed to be a lot of books. And I think what I think this is is there's going to be three books following Morgan's point of view, and there's going to be the other books are going to follow a different character's point of view or like different characters. Which sounds really cool, but basically this series is about a girl named Morgan Crow. What a surprise, it's literally her name in the title of the series. And she was cursed to die on her 11th birthday. But on her 11th birthday, she goes to this thing called Bid Day for all the kids in her town where they get bids to be apprentices or go to these special schools or whatever they get bids for, they get bids for it. And Morgan never expected to get a bid, but she ends up getting four bids, I think. And eventually, that same night, before she dies, she gets swept off to Nevermore by a crazy red-haired man named Juniper North. I never include the bid things, but every time somebody describes this book, they feel like they like they include the bids. So I feel like I need to include the bid part, but I literally don't know why that's important. Because, like, I mean, yeah, it comes back into play, but I really don't think I need to describe that. But uh, this is just a super fun series, and I read this for the first time last year, and it was my favorite book of last year. Um, this is my favorite series of last year, and yeah, I really, really liked this. But the third book was supposed to come out in March of 20, March 3rd, I think, of 2020. Then it got pushed back to August 7th, and then I think it got pushed back to October, like, 13th, and then it got pushed back till October 27th. And honestly, my excitement for the third book has really dwindled. Like, honestly, I don't care when it comes out. And that's sad, because these are my favorite books of last year, and now I'm kind of like, you could never write the third book, and I don't think I'd care. But my granny and I are, uh, like, going to be rereading Wondersmith soon, and I'm super excited, because I reread this in February, and I was like, I'm going to reread this soon afterwards. I didn't. It's August as of filming this, September something one's going up. And I haven't reread Wondersmith yet, but I am going to before the third book about Holocaust comes out, which is about a disease, a spectrum across the world. That's all I know about it. So, this isn't until later on my list, but since I was already on my middle grade shelf, I decided I would grab the next series, and that is the Keeper of the Lost Cities, a series by Shannon Messenger. This is absolutely one of, this is my favorite series of this year that I've read so far. This would have to be up on my tippity top. Honestly, maybe an out school's Devil but I'm just kind of like in an odd wedge between me and Nevermore right now. I don't know. But, this is a nine... 10 book series technically because there's an 8.5 book and then there's book 9. I don't know if there's going to be a book 10. Um, I don't even think Shannon Messenger knows yet because I was seeing memes today about this series and uh, they are they were talking about how Shannon doesn't know there's going to be a 10 book whenever they ask about her. I don't really know. But no matter how many books there is, I plan on seeing this series through because I've already read the entire, all the published books out in the series so far this year. And I am down for Unlocked this year, coming out in November. It's got Keefe's point of view, and Keefe is my baby. So I'm super excited for that. But let's talk about what Keeper is about. So Keeper of the Lost Cities is, a, um, is about a young girl named Sophie who grew up in the human world. And when she, was at, when she turned the age of five, she started to be able to hear humans' thoughts. And obviously you can probably tell the fact that I keep calling them humans that Sophie herself is not a human. She finds out one day at a museum with her class, which she's like a, in 12th grade, when she's 12, um, that she is not a human, she's an elf, because she meets a boy named Fitz and finds out that Fitz can also hear the human's minds. Fitz whiskers, whisks her off to the elven world where she finds out that 
Sophie doesn't know everything about her and she finds out that Sophie has secrets hidden deep inside her that people are willing to kill for. I'm very proud of that synopsis because I literally always fail at telling people the synopsis. But I really love this series. I love these characters. I love Keefe. That's like my favorite character. So, not characters. Keefe and Sophie, a super cute couple. I love them. They're not dating, but I love them. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna. I am going to read everything in this series, even if it's 20 books. Maybe that's a little far fetched, but I don't care because I really do love this series. The next series I have on here is the Witcher series by Andres Sapkowski. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. This is actually the first book, but there is a uh, prequel novella that's uh, introducing the Witcher. It's the Witcher. It's the Last Wish. But basically, I ended up watching The Witcher on Netflix. I binged it in one day, eight hours of TV, one day. <laughs> Yep, I like that show, if you could not tell. And so as soon as I finished that, I was like, I need to read more of this series. So I instantly got The Last Wish, I picked it up as soon as it got to my house, and then I got I bought the book, the first three books in the series after The Last Wish in a box set, and I was super pumped to read them, and then I never got to them. So yeah, but I do want to read this series. I only first four books and it's an eight book series, I'm pretty sure. So I would like to read this entire series before the second season of The Witcher comes out because I would like to make a video where I talk about the books with you guys. But um, yeah, I just want to say that the guy who sings Toss the Coin to Your Witcher in the television show, his name is Dandelion in the book. And that's weird, in my opinion. Like, it's really, I'm like, that's not your name. That's not your name. Like, your name starts with a J, but in the book, his name starts with a D, and it's dandelion, and it's weird, and I don't really like it. But, I don't know how to exp There's something in my teeth. I swear if I've had something in my teeth the entire time I'm filming this, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to put up with it because I'm not filming this video for a fourth time. Okay, well, if there is, I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. I don't really know how to explain this. If you really need an explanation, watch the trailer for it on Netflix because I feel like that's the best explanation, but I will read the back of this for you because it's just a short little sentence. So, for over a century, humans, dwarves, gnomes, and elves have lived together in relative peace, but times have changed. The uneasy peace is over, and now the races are fighting once again. The only good elf, it seems, is a dead elf. Geralt of, Rivi of Rivia, the cunning assassin known as the Witcher, has been waiting for the birth of a prophesied child. This child has the power to change the world for good or for evil. As the threat of war hangs over the land and the child is hunted for her extraordinary powers, it will become Geralt's responsibility to protect them all, and the Witcher never accepts defeat. So, yeah, I'm really excited to read the series. Hopefully, I'll be able to sit down and binge it sometime soon. The next series I wanted to talk about is a depressing one, and that's because I wish I never bought the next two books in the series. That is the Kiss of Deception trilogy by Mary E. Pearson. Sorry, my phone's going off. My dad's texting me. But I ended up reading the first book in uh, November of 2018 for Lalathon, and it literally took me the entire month of November. I barely finished it before the end of 2018 because I did not like it. I gave it four out of five stars, which, like, that's a little high because I loved the ending and like yeah ending was cool people died I was surprised but I didn't really care and I feel like I should reread this before I read these two because when I was reading the back of Heart of uh, Betrayal I was like what the heck is going on and so I feel like I need to reread this to understand even the back of this book but honestly I don't want to reread this because I remember how this ended. I remember who the assassin and who the prince is. So I really don't care about rereading this. And again, the only reason I want to finish this series is because I own the next two books. And I deeply, deeply regret that decision. I wish I didn't buy books like that back then because I'm I'm feeling the pain of it now today and 20 two, two years later I'm still feeling the pain <laughs> 
So let's go over the last series super quick, and that is the Shadow Me series by Tehera Mafi. So this book is about a well, I don't even know what Kiss of Death is about, so I'm sorry. But this book follows a girl named Juliet who has a lethal touch and has been locked up in like an insane asylum prison pretty much all of her life since she's got her lethal touch. But then a boy named Adam, and just love it so happy in this book, uh, is put in her cell with her and she finds out that Adam is immune to her touch. And then she also... Oh my god, I don't know. I was gonna say something about the establishment, but then I literally don't know what happens with her in the establishment, so honestly, I could care less. But, I do remember I really liked this series, and I do remember stuff that happened. Actually, I don't. I don't really remember the first three books, except something gets shot in book three. And like, it's not, if you've read it, it's not that person, it's somebody else. Uh, maybe it's book two. I don't even remember! I just remember that leg shot. Anyway, so what I want to do is read Defy Me by Tehera Mafi and depending on my feelings of this book will, is going to determine whether or not I end up reading the final book which is not Ignite Me but every single time I try to think of the name for Ignite Me I say no oh my god it's not Ignite Me. For the sixth book I think of Ignite Me but it's not that because it's already a title. I don't even know the title of the stupid next book okay. But I've heard that a lot of people don't like this book. A lot of people don't think this series needed three more books. And honestly, I don't think it would have either. But again, I bought this book. I pre-ordered this book so I could have it in paperback so it matched. And now I'm here with it to read. <sighs> stop me. Somebody stop me, okay? Like, I've already done the, the Witcher series. And I really hope I don't regret that decision, so... Anyway guys, that is going to be the end of this video. These are series that I've kind of been putting off reading, but really, really want to uh, continue. Not really, really want to. That's a stress for a lot of, for a few of these. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see a video of me talking about book series that I'd like to start, tell me in the comment section, because I do want to make one of those videos. And also, if you want to see a video of me talking about book uh, authors, I will... I'm interested in buying more books from or reading more books from. I also have some uh, names down for that video as well. So just tell me in the comment section because listen, I need some video ideas and I want to make some that you guys are interested in. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday. And so I'll see you guys all next Monday for another video. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye guys. <laughs> okay.